It's the Two Girls and a Bottle of Wine podcast, and I'm Janet Blair. Each week, I sit down with one of my girlfriends, whether it be Teresa, Natalie, Carrie, Kristen, Tara, Stephanie. We talk about whatever. We completely restore this trailer, you know, fry people's faces off as a bad Mexican. I don't understand the competition that goes on between women. Two girls and a bottle of wine. Over a glass of wine, bottle of wine, or sometimes a couple bottles of wine. Join in on Facebook at facebook.com slash two girls and a bottle of wine. Don't miss us. <laughs> Hello, I'm Janet, and this is Two Girls and a Bottle of Wine podcast, because men like boobs and girls like wine. This week, I have a very special co-host. It's the Tornado Alley Queen, Kim Eden. So we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different things. Sit back, have fun, and cheers. Hello. Hi. It's weird. Hi. That's weird. No, That's weird. I got, I, first time that I've used it, I upgraded my phone and got a new phone, so I've just it just now I came up for the first time. I'm like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Been good. a busy day. I'm like, is she calling us? What's I'm going so on? sorry. It's been. I'm so sorry. I had to. I had to walk in the door and decompress for about 20 minutes. Oh, I I completely oh agree. God. It's been a biz. It's been a Monday. Oh, yeah. Stupid Mondays. Yes, it's been. But it you was did fast. water aerobics. Was that was that awesome? I, I do. Um, I do. I do. This is my second four week session, and yeah, they are. It's step. It's um, high impact, and you know, like high everything. Impact. Yeah, it's it's step aerobics, but it's in the water. So oh. you you get out of it what you put into it, and and I'm sore tonight. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's fun. This is my second second four week session. The third one will start uh, in three weeks, I guess, four weeks or something like that. But yeah, it's fun. It's it's fun. We have a 54 year old instructor that that's she's awesome. A, she's a ball of fire. Yeah. But anyway, is yes. she like massively ripped? She is. She's um, little, tiny, short. Mm. I'm not really sure how tall she is. Five two, probably. But um, she is. She's she's pretty ripped. <laughs> how, yeah. how deep is the water that you do aerobics in? It's a well. I it, you can do it as deep as you want, but you have to keep your footing. I wear my water shoes in there with my steps, and I keep it about right around three and a half feet because yeah. it, it's it's hard. You gotta you have to you have to be able to keep your footing. So well, that's awesome. I have never yeah. even thought about water aerobics, but when you sent me that text tonight, I was like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. It's 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 pretty fun. It's. The, I'm sure it'll continue after the third session after the holidays. Hopefully, anyway, it's um, it's a challenge, but it's fun. We have weights, and you've been walking a lot, a lot. I, do, I walk. Yep, I don't run. I everywhere I get, I walk. I'm, <laughs> I'm not not a runner. I don't think it's. I don't quite. I, it's it's not for me. But I do I'm the walk and, same and way. I walk a lot. I walk you do. You do the map lot. my run right. I I do actually. I use it on with my Fitbit. I um. Um, it, I just track, tell to track my exercise. So, and then I'm also a hula hooper. I have a 10 pound hula hoop that I, (laughs) that I'm addicted to that I've done for probably, I don't know, three or four years. How long do you keep that going? I, I do it all evening. I, I don't really watch TV. Mark does and whatever I'm doing. I'll do it. I'll do it while the show is on until it goes to a commercial and then I'll take a three minute break or then I'll do it for three minutes and then take a break while it's on the show. That's just what I do. Or if I'm catching up on YouTube, then I, uh, I do it during all the shows because most of them are 13 or 14 minutes and then I stop and go do something and come back and do it again. How do you keep it from falling? It's it, once, once you, once, once you're you used it? to it, it stays there. It's, Did you start it's... with a non pound hula nope. hoop? You, nope. You've always been ten pounds. Yep. I went to. I bought it. Yeah, probably three or four years ago. It's um, exercise uh, sports hoop sports hoop dot com. That's where I got it. Interesting. And they have smaller. They have smaller si- smaller sizes or not smaller, less weight. But mine's ten. It might even be twelve pounds. I'm not sure. Yeah. It um. Wow. It's an addiction. 
I yeah. guess I just wow. Yeah. Yes, it stays in the living room. That's just where it's at. And Mr. Mark Eden is fine with that. Oh, that's that's it's just is it entertainment just life. for him? <laughs> oh, it, it is. It's just like me sitting on the couch all night next to Steve. You just happen to be sitting or standing, standing hula-hooping. And, uh, yes, I'm either I'm either on my phone or I'll hold my iPad or we're talking or I'm looking at him or it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever, it's just life. My, my hula hoop is <laughs> my hula hoop from seven o'clock until life. I go to bed. So usually it's about an hour and a half a night. So yeah. what? Okay, it's like 7.30, your time right now, and I, yes. I really do appreciate your patience. No, Cubicle yeah. life pulled me into the suck zone this afternoon. I'm Uh-oh. like, I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh, my gosh. So what is your typical bedtime? Um, my bedtime actually is right around 8, I have to say, between 8.30 and 8.45. That's awesome because mine is too, and so I was like, I I gotta call her. Oh my gosh! Yep, it sure is. That's that's one thing. I Steve the older I get, we yeah. used to do, well, we used to do the party thing. We where my our viewpoint was, we'll sleep when we die. And I tell you, the older I get, <laughs> uh, can I sleep yeah. now? Yeah. Yep, I know. I if it gets if it makes if I make it till nine o'clock, it's and I when I go to bed, I'll give it maybe fifteen minutes, and I'm asleep. That's so how I no, am. Once there's I'm, no messing around. Once I'm ready to go to sleep, I just roll over. Steve yep. watches TV. I the sound actually makes my brain stop. Yep. Running, and I I love the TV on when I'm going to sleep, and I just yep. roll over and I'm out five ten minutes max. I'm yep. the same way, and I'm I can same sleep way. through whatever he decides to watch on TV. I do too. We have a huge king bed, and when he comes mm-hmm. to bed, he comes to bed, and I have no clue when he does, and. He doesn't disturb me. He's got his little ritual thing. He pats my butt. He pats my butt and <laughs> and kisses me. But I mean, that's just Aww, but love. Yeah, I I don't. I never know. Yes, I love my sleep. And the older I get, the more I appreciate it. I don't recall ever not loving sleep, though. Well, I know that we didn't a few years ago because we did the party thing and the line. Like, we we did that every night and can't do that anymore. And I look at these people on. Facebook and my friends and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I, there's no way. I would be mean. No way. No way. Yes. <laughs> I would yeah. I. Up. Yeah. I agree. People. Um, I would get fired. <laughs> I. I would. I agree. Um, Mark's birthday was uh, a week ago today. So on Sunday we decided to have a few cocktails, a few drinks, and and I really don't drink anymore. And I've noticed yeah, that Monday wasn't pretty. Monday wasn't <laughs> Monday wasn't nice at all, and I said no more of that. None. So, <laughs> yeah. You haven't been very active on Facebook. Well, we're very active. It just hasn't been on Facebook. I have to say, I don't know. I'm just going through something that is just it. It just got boring to me because it's the same. I want old. people. I want people to say something. I'm tired of seeing everybody that shares something. Why mm-hmm. do you have to? Can't you use? Can't you say something and not share a picture? I, it just got old. The memes. I don't know. All of the it, memes. Y- yes. Yep. Very, very, very seldom do I. Well, I shared something Mark posted yesterday, and it was about a little girl in a hula hoop in the grocery <laughs> store. I did share that because and it now was quite funny. That makes sense to me. It was, yeah. <laughs> I said, and, and I, he he shared it and said, "This is Kim." And I, I, on the bottom of it, I said, "Well, I'm trying to get better." <laughs> so that was, yeah, that was really cute. But yeah, I don't know. It's just been kind of boring. I don't know. I yeah, I I started unfollowing people because. <laughs> Yeah, I do. And Steve's like, why? What if you miss something? I'm like, well, these are people I don't even know. Like people yes. that I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't pick them out of a lineup. Like this happens. Like I'll meet people in person. And they're like, oh, we're friends on Facebook. I'm like, crap. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And and then I yeah. It, so I just started unfollowing people in hopes that my my feed would become more interesting to me of people yeah. I actually care about. Yes, that's 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 been my thing. Um, I've unfollowed a few people because I don't want sex, religion, politics, oh um, inappropriate things on my wall. I don't. I, I don't want any part of it. I don't want to see it, and I don't want to read it. So, I feel yeah, like I've unfollowed a few people myself. If I didn't have the podcast, 
I would have ditched Facebook probably about a year ago. Part of yeah. me, I, I've tried to research. I don't know if I deactivate my personal account, if two girls and a bottle of wine can keep going. I have tried to Google that, but I, I can't get a straight answer. So I don't want to deactivate it and then affect the podcast site. Well, you know, face, it, Facebook is fun because the way I feel about it, it is, it's my wall. It's my world. And you're just in it. But people I don't post, get that. And I take no, it personally. They don't. And I, I, I'm, I post I'm pictures a fragile all flower. the time. I post pictures all the time. And it's get most of them are just of me and Mark and or of me. And I, I don't care. I, you know, and I don't even have to be on Facebook to post the pictures. I just do it and stay off of it. But, you know, and, and if they don't like it, they can leave. It's right. Unfollow I, me. <laughs> No, you, Unfriend right. me exactly. It's like this, you know. It's it's you're, it's my world. You're just right. in it. It's not my fault. Right. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but I don't know. We've done a lot. We've done a lot lately. I just haven't. You posted. guys are constantly I don't know. going. Yeah, we are. You we say have you love your sleep, and, but I don't believe you. <laughs> well, we do everything early, and we're home early. We usually get up first thing. I mean, we're pretty much creatures of habit. We uh, we. We don't break around our our habits that we normally do, and every other Saturday is nail day, and we get that done, and then we do our thing. Um, I'm into 5Ks. We have another one coming up this Saturday. So, Do you run or walk? I'm, I walk. I'm a speed walker, and Mark doesn't walk as fast, but he does them with me. <laughs> <laughs> I meet him, meet him at the finish line. That's awesome. At least he's, he's getting active, and he's doing yeah. something, you know? Yep. Outside of me. building things of mm-hmm. amazing proportions, he's always building something. We're built. We're doing a fence right now. We're putting a fence around our property and and working on that. So we're always some always doing something. Have you Just, seen the giant shoebox on Facebook? It looks like a shoebox, but then when the video starts going, you open it and it, it's holding like tons and tons of shoes. Oh. No, I will no, find that I, and pin I that did, and pin that. I will post that to your wall so that Mark has I, I a new did, project on the wall. I did well. I did post a picture yesterday. I'm trying to get more organized, so I've got m- m- quite a few saw that. boxes of shoes. Yes. On. I'm trying. I'm trying. Now he has built me everything for ne- a thing for necklaces and a thing for my earrings and something for sunglasses. He's trying to. I mean, he's yeah. He he does build. He's he's a. He's a um, jack of all trades and a master of several most most yeah. of everything he does. Yes, I've seen his finished yeah. products. I'm I'm quite impressed. I I think you guys could be making some money. You need to build an Etsy page. Yeah, well, he would like to do that. And actually, we want to move to. I'd love to live in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. That's, that's yeah. That's my ultimate. What? That's our yes. That's 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 our like little, my. Like I, I grew know. up in that. Area. I'm like, wait a second! You just threw something. We go that- there three or four times a year. We go there every year oh for my Halloween. Gosh. Yeah, the, I year. can only imagine what Halloween yep, is like there. We do. It's amazing. I, I, it's just, it's just fun. It's just zombies everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's fun. So oh. we will be up there for six days. We'll be, we'll be going up there for Halloween. It's fun. Yeah, that's our favorite. Wow, favorite place to go. Yeah. I'm trying to get Steve back to the Ozarks just for a visit, oh, just for a visit, not yeah, to move. You, Don't no one freak out. Done that? You haven't done that yet, have you? I haven't. <laughs> Five and no. a half years, and I have not succeeded no. in that. So yeah, it's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, one day. <laughs> one day. One day. He's like, I've been to there. Branson. Just go visit. Yep. I've been there. I'm like, but not Janet style. But not with you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But we'll get there. We'll get there one day. Yeah. Your take? Are you still going to Dallas? Well, it, it's on a Wednesday, um, yeah. so I, I don't know. It's on, I think, the 15th, which I think is a Wednesday, and that's the problem. So I may have to um, I may have to just pre-order it, and maybe she'll do something, sign them or something. I'm not really sure. I'm going to get it no matter what, but I'm right. afraid I'm not going to make it because I can't go on my own. So for those listening, Kim and I are both – are you at the obsessed level? Yep. Okay, I, I didn't want to throw out that word unless you were comfortable. So well, we're both yeah, obsessed I I, mm-hmm. with Flora de Force, which is a YouTuber out of England. And her and her husband have Florida Vlog, which they vlog every other month. Mm-hmm. 
And Steve and I just are obsessed. We follow them on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. We are following this couple. And they're, she has a book that she released probably about a year ago. In, February. In English. 